here from Kells Country Corner, and today I'm at the Hancock Homestead, and it is day two of farm chores for Paul. So I have got him busy working on different activities. Come join us for the day. Okay, friends, so we measured over 15 total feet. We have a four foot flower box is going to be in there, seven feet for the lawnmower, and another four foot for another flower, or for another uh, seed box. So now Paul is putting in the first post for the second row. Just a little bit chillier too. I hear him coming with the combine again. These are going to be so nice. Pickling cucumbers. Um, I want to do some gourds. Um, maybe some green beans. Yes. You know, I looked online the other night uh, to see if our inside measurements compared to anyone else's, and most of them were doing 78 inches, which is six and a half feet. So, we got it right on the mark. love these fall days. These are like my favorite days when they're combining and it's cool, not cold, but cool. We're getting ready for next spring. It's like you have a hope in your heart for next spring. The combine is down there on the other side of that corn, but I don't think they can see it. over here looks a little bit forward but what I woke up to this morning. They started at 6.30 <laughs> this morning, which is fine. I know what it's like to be married to a farmer. But yeah, this is what I woke up to at 6.30.
show you how to do this by yourself. I mean, granted, it is a little bit more awkward when you're doing it by yourself, but you can do it by yourself. There you go. You got it. He's got it. I told him it's a little bit more awkward when you're doing it by yourself, but you can do it by yourself. I get one side on first and then the other side goes on and ta-da you did it yay <laughs> and we'll get it all straightened out and evened up because you gotta like count your holes down and so there he goes he wants them in the same hole okay friends well he was able to get three more finished um, for a total of seven and I know I said we were going to do eight which I still plan on adding one more at a later time but we had borrowed one of the cattle panels to do doors for the chicken house project so um, yeah I forgot we had done that but It'll be okay. We can add another panel later. And I'm just so happy with the arches we do have. They're just going to be awesome for growing cucumbers and green beans and um, gourds. I've been wanting to do gourds. So I'm just so happy with them. Beautiful fall day today. Are you eating a tomato puddle? Huh? Is that tomato good? You can eat apples and tomatoes and yeah. Yum yum. Alright, so when I started the chicken wire, I strung it all out, uh, got everything, clipped it all up, right? And then I anchored one point with uh, some zip ties, one on the top and then one here. And then I strung it out to get the right length. Zip tied two anchor points. And then got it all nice and stretched and then started doing uh, each individual zip tie. Yeah. So, and then for the door, I did pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Just part uh, of it. We only have so much chicken wire. So right. in order to cut down on how much I was using. I didn't do the end of the door because it's covered by chicken wire. So yeah. instead of overlapping or wasting chicken wire, I just yeah, left or a little it joins bit of an overlap. together it yeah. And then this these chickens over here is kind of what got out while he was working, like you know, it just happens. But as you can see, it is keeping the chickens in much better. <laughs> And yeah, so now they'll stay on this side. And the reason I'm wanting to split them is because in the spring it will be time to get new chickens. Although these chickens are still laying, they are about three years old now. So I'll only get some new chickens. And the chicks will need to go over here. So we're going to put chicks on this side, and I want to keep them separated from the larger chickens. And so now we're going to put wire on this side. Uh, we've decided the wire on this side we're going to put on the inside. Um, just as a precaution that the chicks can't get caught like between the wire and the, and the fence. The bigger chickens it won't matter. But the smaller chickens could possibly get caught. I doubt it. But you know just as a precaution we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to help him. Uh, hold the wire and we'll show you the end results yep. okay so now we have the east side done 
What I could do is I could always put hay bales at the bottom to keep the chicks from going through or concrete cinder blocks. I mean, there's other ways to keep the chicks in. So, good job, son. Thanks. Thank if you, you want to make it prettier, because we use the, the thicker zip ties, thicker zip ties are easier to put on because yeah. you have more to work with. So if you don't like it, you can take a pair of scissors. I don't know if these will cut it. And you can yeah. trim the, uh, the ends off. of these off. Yeah. And then it looks better. Yeah. So. I can do that someday. That's something I think mom can do. Maybe. If my fingers aren't too sore that day. So. We have a few escapees while we were working. But most of them have stayed over here. So I think it looks, I think it looks very good. Hey, Big Red. What's up? Can't get out today, can you? <laughs> I know. But you have plenty of room in that pen. And look, I gave you all some yucky apples to eat. Yes. So I'm not all that mean. No. <laughs> it didn't hurt you to have your wings clipped anyway. They've never fought before, but that was a close dance. There's enough ladies for both of you. Did y'all just get too close to each other? Huh? 